We've got one more off the top here before we get to our main topics here today, guys. Wow. And that last off the top is this. Now, of course, back at D23, Kevin Feige made some big announcements about upcoming Disney Plus shows that include uh, Miss Marvel, things like that. But one of the ones that got everybody really excited was that of She-Hulk. Now, once they announced they were going to be doing a She-Hulk show, a big question that came up for everybody was, is Mark Ruffalo going to be a part of it? Are we going to have Hulk? Now, a bunch of people like myself said, I doubt they're going to have Ruffalo in it. I think they're going to probably want to make sure this can really be centered on the She-Hulk character, and they'll, they'll probably won't have him. I'm guessing they won't have him in there. Well, guess what? According to Mark Ruffalo, they very well may be having him and the Hulk in this She-Hulk show because Mark Ruffalo was just at a, I was it called C-E-D-E or something like that. I can't remember the name of the festival he was at. And he was on stage and he was asked about it. And he said he has had some preliminary talks with Disney to appear in the She-Hulk series. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean it will be a big role or maybe he's just being a little bit facetious because I got to imagine, Rob, they, they probably know if Mark Ruffalo is going to be in it by now or not. They, I mean, they got to know by now if he is or not. I mean, you're 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 putting your entire season together. I think you got to know. Maybe it's a big role. Maybe it's a small role. Maybe it's just a little appearance. Maybe it's a significant backup character, the She-Hulk character throughout. I'm not sure, but it is starting to look like they're going to have Ruffalo in here now. Rob, I would have initially thought before, and I said this before, that. I thought they would avoid this because, you know, you want to keep the focus on She-Hulk. But I don't know, maybe having him in there is a way to prop up the character and give more legitimacy to the character and bring more eyeballs in to give the show a shot. I'm not yeah. sure. Rob, do you think Ruffalo will end up appearing in it? And then number two, do you think it's a good idea or a bad idea to have him appear in it? What do you think? Well, the first thing that gave me pause is that if Ruffalo appears in it and he appears as the Hulk... That's a lot of CG for a show, yeah. for a TV show. And, and it made me realize or think about how are they going to realize She-Hulk? I guess because it's got to be MCU quality, they're sort of locked into doing that CG version of the Hulk or the Professor Hulk or whatever. And it excites me that, again, they seem to be sparing no expense with these streaming shows. But I, I think it's great. I think it's a natural. Maybe they'll only have him in the pilot and then he'll recur occasionally, but I really like Ruffalo and I, you know, there's those rumors that Alison Brie was training, like maybe she's going to be she Hulk, which I think is actually a really good idea. I love her, but I, you know, I don't know. I, I, but having him in the show, they're just, they're just doing whatever they can to make sure that these streaming versions of the MCU are legit, man. This is to me, it's just straight up. This is this is just as good as our movies. You got to watch it all, and I, I it excites me, man. It excites me that uh, I heard that the Moon Knight production was pushed back a little bit, but that kind of bummed me out. But to know that we're getting Mark Ruffalo in in the She Hulk series, bring it on, dude, bring it on. I don't know if you heard about this. I'm glad you brought up the Allison Brie thing because I don't know if you heard of Allison Brie. Of course, she's in that uh, uh, what's the wrestling show on Netflix called again? Uh, uh, Glow. Glow, thanks. She's so great in Glow, and she was really good in Community. Uh, she's married to Dave Franco. A lot of people don't know that. But in case you guys didn't hear about this, there was some reports going around that a casting call had gone out for She-Hulk, and the casting call was asking for somebody. Here's what it reads. It reads, earlier this week, a rumor began making the rounds claiming that Marvel Studios was looking for an, this is what was in the casting call, Allison Brie type to play She-Hulk to which apparently Allison Brie was just like, <laughs> like an Allison Brie type, which of course raises the question, well, why not just go for Allison Brie? So then she was joking around and apparently she said, I made a call to Marvel and I can't tell you what came of that. So I don't think we're actually going to get Allison Brie in there to play <laughs> She-Hulk, but I'd be all for it. I think Allison Brie is awesome. Well, there was a picture with her that I don't know if one of them tweeted this, but she was with working out with Brie Larson. Really? So, yeah. So Allison Brie and Brie Larson, something like that. And I was like, all right, then bring all on right. the double Brie. So, you know, <laughs> Allison Brie's in a really interesting movie called the horse girl or something that I believe I, I started watching it late last night, actually, where she's a girl that starts suffering from, you don't know if it's schizophrenia or maybe she's being haunted by aliens 
and I, I, it was way too late. I couldn't finish it, but it was really interesting. And I've been staying away from reading anything about it because I don't want it spoiled. But uh, it's from the Duplass Brothers Production Company. Ooh, and uh, it's pretty good so far. She's really good in it. So I guess the question here is, guys. What do you think about the Ruffalo situation? Do you think he's actually going to appear in the show? If so, do you think that's a good idea? Maybe it's a bad idea. What do you guys think? Jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. All right. 